Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Caroline, I'm a senior at Columbia University, and today I will be taking you on a very senior tradition filled weekend in my life. We'll be starting off with a fun run, which is an annual Columbia tradition, and then we're gonna go take the swim test with a couple of my friends, followed by some actual homework during the weekend, and ending the day with introducing you to one of the most famous professors here at Columbia. And as a little bonus, I'll take you on an excursion to this really cool exhibit by Chelsea Market, bring you along with me to Chinese Students Club's Night Market, and give you a little sneak peek into tree lighting, which will be coming up in December. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello vlog, today is October 17th, it's a Sunday, and right now I'm going on the fun run. Columbia's Fun Run is a tradition wherein each year students and faculty come together and run a 5k. But because of COVID, everything is virtual now, so we're gonna run this on our own time and then submit our results. I used to always receive emails about this, but I never really pay them any attention. But this year as a senior, I was like, I need to get into this tradition. <laughs> it's 8.30 now, we're still waiting on a few people. Yeah. We've already had a few people say that they couldn't make it because they can't wake up or something. Um, but this is Edmund. We TA for biology together. And Edmund is also the co-president of POPs with our other friend Karina. Hello, I'm Edmund. I'm studying bio. Um, I do play violin. Yeah, I'm one of the co-presidents of POPs. Love sort of music stuff on campus. Multi-talented. We started our run at Shake Shack, which is right across from campus, and ran down to Riverside Park. And please enjoy these views as I struggle to complete oh. my first 5K. Oh, yay! Oh, oh, the finish line! Oh, yeah. We crossed it. Run, run, run. Ah, clearly. So yeah, this finish line was actually not for us. There was a marathon that we somehow ran into, but we took the finish line as an excuse to celebrate anyway. So along this track, you can see the beautiful New Jersey skyline <laughs> um, across the river. And this is the halfway point. So we're just gonna retrace our steps and then that'll bring us to 5K. Okay, we're back at Shake Shack, our landmark. I estimated this will take me three hours. I blocked it out of my Google Calendar. It's like 45 minutes. Yeah, but that was because hours, like we were kind of walking for a while. <laughs> so artsy. Oh, yeah. Well. Hexagons. Hexagons. Here is the proof of my morning run. And we were actually featured on Columbia's Instagram after I tagged them on my story, which I think is pretty cool. Hashtag famous. A few hours later, it was time to take the swim test, which is a requirement actually for Columbia College if you want to graduate. It is time to go swimming. I have my goggles and caps and a big swim towel in here, and I'm gonna meet with Celine and Michelle to do the swim test. I'm in my slippers and I have my swimsuit under here, so I don't need a change over there. Swim test is three laps, so 75 yards, infinite time, I think. But I mean, as long as you get it done within the two hours that they, that they have open for the swim test, I think you'll be fine. These are my swim partners, Selena and Michelle. We're gonna go down to your pool. I forgot to mention that it's actually homecoming weekend, the weekend that I'm filming this, but I didn't get a chance to go because I had to tutor in the morning and then I went to lab in the same afternoon that the game was happening. But I'm gonna link a vlog in the top right hand corner in case you're interested in seeing what homecoming at Columbia looks like. We are in the swimming pool area. We just checked in over there. Um, and then I'm gonna drop my stuff off over there. And I don't know if I'm allowed to like film myself swimming. So I'm just gonna put an interlude here or something like that. So I mentioned before that Columbia College students have to take the swim test or at least a swim class in order to graduate. You can take this at any time during your college career, but it's usually tradition to do it with your friends last minute senior year. Yeah, I just finished the swim test. Dripping wet, but it was fun. Thank you. Thank you. We are one requirement closer to graduation and feels good. We swam three laps, then we hopped out. And now we are gonna go on our own way, probably do some more studying for midterms. Um, but today was a very athletic day. We'll see you guys later. Bye. 
After taking a nice and relaxing shower, I need to do some work actually this weekend, so I'm preparing to discuss a couple of articles in my comparative literature seminar class this coming Tuesday. The two articles that I'm presenting on talk about narrative medicine, the idea of storytelling in medicine and the medical humanities, and ways that we define narrative. Later that same evening. It's six o'clock now. I'm going to my biology teaching assistant meeting. We have a group meeting every week before we host our own recitations. It just all of a sudden started raining, but I'm almost there in the building. It's in the Fairchild Center. <laughs> it's time for problem solving. During our TA meetings each Sunday, we actually pair up as TAs and pretend that we're the students to go through the problems and ask any questions that we have so that we can make sure to explain things well to our own students. It's actually a very good time. I really enjoy this. It's like a nice bonding, relaxing session. Um, sometimes we go up on the board like I'm doing now to explain the questions using diagrams. So yeah, it's a good time. This is Dr. Mauschewitz, famous for the introductory biology course at Columbia. She basically designed all of the active learning, problem solving sessions that we do. People learn a lot more from doing problems than they do from listening to lectures. But everybody is used to listening to lectures. And so if you don't lecture, I think you're lying down on the job. That's not what you really learn from. I always enjoy talking to professors in office hours or outside of the classroom because they have so much good advice to give. And Dr. M is definitely a huge proponent of active learning and not just like passively reading the textbook, but actually working through problems yourself. I actually made a study video on how to incorporate these active learning techniques into your own studying, which I will link up above. I'm vlogging right now. You always see Justin when I vlog. Yeah, Hi. I bumped into some friends at the sundial again, um, and then I decided to get some salad for dinner. I just went to Milano's to get a huge salad. It is pretty hefty. It's like the weight of a newborn baby. And I'm gonna try to see if I can finish this. If not, I'll keep it for lunch tomorrow. One week later. The day before I went home for fall break, I went with a friend to our tech house in Chelsea Market. It was a really, really cool futuristic space that focuses on using technology and light and sounds to explore art and science. The exhibit that we went to was called Geometric Properties. And what's really cool is that all of these patterns are made from computer generated formulas. It's like a video game. Much, much later. Hi, right now Z, Z and I are at the CSC night market. We met Alex, hi. Um, and right now we are going to just enjoy the shows. We had some bon mi for like five bucks. Um, yeah, it's really cold and we're in gloves already.
This is where the night market performances are being held. You guys are so good. <laughs> That's Wushu. We're gonna head back because Z and I actually, she has to go somewhere and then I have to work on cell bio. <laughs> Oh, why am I speaking Chinese? <laughs> this is where we got our food. This is the food stands. You have to have a CUID to get in. We're just gonna check if there's any more free dumplings. This is the Singapore Student Association. This is the Chinese Student Association. Everyone's like watching the performances though, so it's kind of emptied out. Oh, it was so cold. Okay, good night everyone. Like and subscribe and comment <laughs> and as promised here's a sneak peek into tree lighting right now they're wrapping the lights around the trees the leaves are still very autumnal but by december all the leaves will have already fallen off and here's a couple of clips from the next vlog which is going to be for the month of december i'm editing the december one right now and honestly it's been such a fun time looking back on these memories so i can't wait to show you guys but that's it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one Bye! Hello there and thank you so much for making it to the end of the vlog. If you're here, I'd really appreciate it if you could click like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications. Okay, see you in the next vlog. Bye!